As we just saw, the installation went quite fast and it's quite easy to install. But there are several activities that must be completed before the installer leaves the site. These activities include powering up the equipment, as well as cleaning up the site and handing over to the person responsible for the site. The installer would be well advised to take a quick look over the installation to check that everything has been done. Check that all cables are correctly secured. Cables entering buildings must have a drip loop to keep water away from the building face. All cables should be marked and any cable markings or identification tags that are absent must be replaced or fitted. No holes should be allowed in the base of outdoor cabinets and all cable holes are to be either used or blocked. Indoor cabinets are to be well fitted, level and free from damage or dirt. Any marks, blemishes or scratches are to be rectified before the equipment is handed over. To power up the main unit, refer to the document called Verification of Installation at Site. The installation site, by now, will be littered with a variety of rubbish and debris. There will be tie wraps, cable offcuts, packing materials, bags and, and other forms of rubbish that all must be tidied up. Remember that we have made this mess during installation and on someone else's site. It is only good manners to clear up the mess afterwards. Remember that all rubbish must be disposed of according to local regulations. In most cases, this will mean sorting out the paper, plastics, metal and other types of waste before disposal. The site installation documentation binder contains checklists that must be completed. This is to ensure that all equipment has been installed according to the site engineering and that all options peculiar to this particular site have been completed. Any deviations from the site installation documentation must be documented and passed to the engineering department responsible for site planning and documentation. Check that the installation complies with Ericsson quality standards. When the installer is certain that all concluding routines have been done, the documentation and checklists completed, then the documents can be handed over to the person responsible for the site. In some cases, the handover will be on site, but in many cases this will be at a local depot. In this event, the installers may have to lock the site doors and gates before they leave. Your installations are almost certain to be in a different environment, but the units and all interconnections should look something like our installation. If you have any doubts, then you may view these video clips as many times as necessary. You must be aware of the correct installation methods used before you do an installation. You should also be familiar with the standards of quality expected. So, thank you very much for participating in the course. It was a pleasure for us to make these video film clips and we hope that you have learned something from them.